Hi YouTube, and this is the video for yesterday because I didn't have a chance to make a video. I'm very sorry. I had a busy dance-filled weekend. I was backstage for the flow, free flow dance celebration of 20 years. So I was busy all weekend with that. I promised tomorrow to make two videos because I missed yesterday. Okay, so it's late and I need to go to bed. So let's quickly get to this. It is, don't be the one I just put in there. Don't be the one I just put in there. Don't be the one I just put in there. Pokemon Go. I have to talk about Pokemon Go, suggested by Lorraine on Snapchat. Thank you, Laura Lorraine Schmall, also known as Angie Lorraine. Lorraine is the sister of one of my best friends from high school. Adam, her brother, and his wife, Linda Ray, who was also one of my best friends from high school. They're like high school sweethearts. They just had a baby. So happy birthday on Friday to Elizabeth Hyacinth Schmall. For as long as I can remember, me and Linda Ray talking about what we would name our children. She's always wanted to name a kid Hyacinth. Hyacinth was kind of maybe a bit too much for a first name, but as a middle name, it's great. Hiya, Hyacinth. I'm going to say that. Anyway, Pokemon Go. Before you watch the rest of this video, click here, and there will be a link for the Pokemon Go trailer. Now that you've watched that, you may continue. If you don't know what Pokemon Go is, Pokemon Go is this app that, it's a mobile app, and you go around and it'll show you where Pokemon are in real life and you can go around and catch them. According to the trailer, it should be like really, really cool, but I don't want to get disappointed. It probably is nothing like the trailer. I really hope that maybe with Pokemon Go, you can like, you catch Pokemon and I don't remember from the trailer or not if it has this, but you can like battle your friends with the Pokemon you've actually caught. And that'd be really cool if it was like, like, back in the day, there was, like, the Pokemon walk counter thing. If that was somehow into gaining experience so you could evolve Pokemon, that would that'd be really cool. I walk all the time, so I'm going to get Charizard. <laughs> There's this meme on the internet where it says Pokemon should have three save files. One for your Charmander, one for your Squirtle, and one for your other Charmander. Bulbasaur just does not get any of the love. Okay, so I just rewatched the trailer just so that I could remember it better. I feel like I am going to be disappointed and it's not going to be anything like the trailer. The only thing I think will be accurate from the trailer will be the very end of it, where it shows you can get it from Android and you can get it for iPhone, and it looks like it shows what it'll actually look like when you do see a Pokemon in it. In the trailer, it looks as if people can actually see the Pokemon there standing next to you. So say if you went to Jamaica and your phone said there was a wild Pikachu nearby, it would be just like there's a there's a Pikachu here and you can see it. It's you don't even have to look at it with your phone. You can actually see it. That's what the trailer's implying. I hate the rat. I sense somehow it'll be similar to when Google had Pokemon on it. That was really awesome. If you went to Google, you'd be able to find Pokemon at different, usually different, like historical landmarks or um, the top of Mount Everest or something. If you found all of the Pokemon, you'd be able to get like a cool little trainer card. I never found all of them. <laughs> so I suspect it might be something like that. One of the things I thought was interesting about the trailer was it doesn't really have a lot of kids playing it. Makes sense. Kids should not have cell phones when they are eight. I wonder if the app will be available for maybe something like an iPad or an iPod. Do people even use iPods anymore? But the trailer does have a lot of older people in it. I feel like that is, those are the kind of people that will buy it, or the people who grew up in the 90s, such as myself, grew up in the 90s, and those, yeah. I don't know if it'll have, like, the crowds of people swarming in to catch Mewtwo. It'd be really cool if it created this really good sense of community amongst the Poke Pokemaniacs of the world. Holla!
so yeah, I think that's all I can really talk about Pokemon Go right now. All that's really been announced is the trailer, as far as I know. There's not really gameplay. I'm going to research this. One second. There doesn't really seem to be a lot of gameplay footage, unfortunately. But who knows? Maybe something will come out in the next little while. Anyway, Pokemon Go. I am looking forward to it. I hope I'm not disappointed. Thank you, Lorraine, for suggesting Pokemon Go. And congratulations on being a new auntie. I'm very excited for you. So that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow where I make two videos to make up for the fact that I didn't make a video this weekend. I'm sorry. Bye.